Deer season day six. I'll tell you guys. Hold on, hold on, I got this. Look at that, man of many talents right there. I'll tell you guys, yesterday dad and I had both decided by one o'clock that that was it. That was the end of deer season. We were done. We had better things to do with our time. Dad wanted to go to the casino and chase ladies of affluence. Maybe pick up a little more inheritance for his kids. I don't know. And my wife has given me a list of fall changeover chores as long as your legs. So we both agreed that was it. You know, and then you chase out one deer, you each get some shooting in, and next thing you know, we looked at each other and said, see you tomorrow. And here we are, it's tomorrow. Day six, let's do this. So another cold snowy morning but I really feel the snow is what got us that chance at those deer yesterday so you know we saw the track on the road that wasn't there two minutes before which caused a little bit of a push which caused the sighting which caused a couple shots and some action you know and if it hadn't snowed we wouldn't have that so I don't mind a little bit of snow and today you know we'll enjoy the same benefits So I'm 10 minutes late this morning. He doesn't have the truck warmed up, but he assures me that Harv will be sitting up there saving our spot on the hill. So I, <laughs> I'm grateful for that at least. Thanks Harv. I was just telling the old man about what the spirits had to say last night. In your defense, do you, do you have anything to say to the spirits about poop stains? They must have poop stains in their own shorties because I don't wear any. And I always floss my butt with a chunk of spruce bow. So there's never any problem. Clean as a whip. Alright, nobody's been down this road this morning. There's a little fresh skiff of snow on there. I'm gonna go sit in the open where I can see 500 yards. Dad's going down the next road, which is three, 400 yards through there. And we're just gonna sit for a couple hours. And when Uncle Harv gets here, we'll make him push in between, I guess, eh? Yeah. He can start at my end, zigzag down to you, and then zigzag back. If he hears me open up, he better hit the ground because my cataracts are, my, uh, my eyes are bugging me this morning. I can't <laughs> tell orange from brown. I think your eyes are bugging you yesterday. We don't have any deer hanging, and I pushed it right to you, so. Oh, yeah, yeah. He was pushing already. It looked like the Polar Bear Express coming down there. That thing was flying. <laughs> He was in the tree line and all I was hoping he would stop, but he wasn't going and I had to let rip before he hit the green. I think I shot right over him. I thought about it all night. And that happens when you're up above and shooting down. I shot oh yeah, you gotta adjust a little bit. I didn't have much time for no adjustment there. I thought I whacked him between the trees. He was See he's got a story. For this season now he's got a deer hunting story to tell, so that's mission accomplished. That's that's what counts. It's all about the memories. It's sitting right here, one guy here, or at least there one or two guys, you know, and where I'm going to park, that's a perfect spot to push through if they all moved into that opening like that. I already spot. told you, I'm going to send Harv through when he well, gets yeah, here. yeah, but he's not here yet, okay. It might take him four or five hours, but he'll, he'll be through. I can see 300 yards down here, so this is the perfect spot. The deer crossed right where the truck is down there. That's where the deer crossed yesterday, so I'm going to spend the next couple hours right here. Whew, I thought it was going to be warmer, but it's not.
So I moved from up there. Down here. Uh, I don't know, Uncle Harv just showed up on the ridge behind me and I waved and I pointed at him, I pointed at me, I pointed at the bush. So then I finally took my pack off and got my radio out. Tried him six times and then he drove back the way he came and I wanted him to stop up there where my watch was because I'm on this nice deer track right here and I'm going to push down into the swamp and it's going to come out in that opening up there right where I was standing. <sighs> oh, sometimes I feel like I'm working alone. Fresh. He was right here. I gotta put this camera away. I may get a shot at him down there in the thick stuff, but not if I'm filming. Still on his track. He's down here in the thick stuff. Well, that track just keeps going and going. I'm finally out of the wind. I might just sit here. I can see a little bit. But I could also keep pushing down to the next road where Dad is somewhere, but the chances of me and the deer coming out right where he's sitting, pretty slim. I just saw a fisher. He's still out there. And here's that fisher track. Anybody want to shoot a mouse? He's coming out of there, running across, and going in there. I think we can set up an ambush. Well, I'm out and I'm on the road, but there's some confusion as to which road. None of these are on the GPS, they're just logging roads, so I'm trying to tell them where I am, but and he's down there telling me, well, I'm on the main road. Oh, I'm not on the main road. Uh, snapping arse holes, it's cold. Come pick me up. Uh. I'm at the blue sign in the tree. I'm at the blue sign in the tree. Behind the tree. 
Oh my god. Oh. I think it would be faster to call an Uber. Okay, never mind. I'll just walk the three miles back to the highway. It's, uh, it's all good. I got it. I gave Harvey every signal I had down there in the swamp. I was doing a jig. I told him Fox him went. Whoa, I'll be back. I'm looking for him. On the I told radio. him Fox went by. Raven went by. Deer went down the hill. Me follow. You go sit. He gets in his truck and he drove away. <laughs> I was going to see if I could go to the highway and fly down an ambulance. <laughs> oh, <laughs> yeah. It looked it looked sketchy, eh? And then I I waved. I'm trying to tell him radio. I get the radio out, I just get it out, and there goes Harv driving away. <laughs> well, it's day six, and today had better be the day we get something, because I'm getting real sick of bologna sandwiches. <laughs> I don't know if you guys are mixing up your lunches, but... Oh, yeah. uh, Ham, bologna, peanut butter, jam. Ham, salmon, cheese. Cheese always on there, oh yeah. Mustard. <clears throat> Lots of mustard. Were you at the casino last night? Nope. I don't know, eh? What's that right there? I wouldn't take my truck down there. Going under your brake pad. Oh, yeah, no, eh? Oh, it's got some in it, too. Yeah, uh -huh. he's been out prowling. I don't think Harv drives and sings. I'm gonna ride with him after. That's a quieter ride, you know. Who was with us now that I smell your perfume? Came around the corner and Dad says he smells perfume. I did. Close your legs. Oh, I didn't give her a little spray. I haven't headed down to the uh, old casino yet. Harv's never gonna get a deer back there. Is it lunchtime yet? Harv's fading away back there. Yeah, it's, it's 11.52. Were you saving that for a special occasion, Mr. Poopy Pants? Oh yeah, when you gotta clean up, you gotta clean up. We're looking for fire starter. I found that I in the door of the here. truck. I got lots here. Well, if you got that, you got that in there. Why do you got poopy pants? That's what I just said, the wind is cold. Yeah, you just said the same thing there. Well, and so ends day six. Storm's blowing in and we're blowing out of here. Well, we're gonna take tomorrow off. We've all agreed. There's not enough sign out here in the bush to come out and freeze. But, you know, by Saturday, Sunday, those are the last two days of the season, we'll probably be itching to get back out, so.